decided to come to the park because the weather was so nice again I'm wearing a hat I really like hats I've gotten into hats um, and the sky is so blue it's my favorite thing if you guys ever follow me on Instagram living underscore in underscore Japan you'll see I have a lot of nature pics on my page because nature makes me happy and this is not the only park I visit Japan actually has a lot of parks which is one of my favorite favorite things and from this park you can see so many cool things and so as you can see I tried to make the video outside but I couldn't because it was really windy um, but it was so pretty outside today it was sunny and warm so let's start with like the obvious ones so my name is Mauricia but most people call me Momo I am from Jamaica yay my accent changes a lot depending on who I'm with or what I'm talking about but I go from sounding like this to sounding like like you can hear my Jamaican Jamaican accent come out yeah I I like code switching it makes my life my life easier I don't need to repeat myself like a million times it is the most annoying thing ever and I am 27 years old um, my favorite color is blue and I really love nature so I'm an English teacher I teach English in Japan so yeah so now let's get into the questions that were asked on my Instagram so the first question is how is Japan during quarantine honestly life is like 70% normal um, people are worried well some people are worried about the situation but other people treat it like nothing is happening uh, supermarkets and stores are still fully stocked we have toilet paper and <laughs> yeah the shelves everything looks normal we still have mail and everything being delivered on time um, life is pretty much normal here um, it's just that and people used to wear masks all the time now more people are wearing masks and do you miss home I miss certain aspects of home I miss the food I'm a big foodie I love my belly um, <laughs> so I really do miss the food and I miss the beaches I cannot swim fun fact about me I cannot swim but I love the beach because and I tell everybody this it is so nice and going to the beach because I love sitting on the sand walking on the sand getting my toes a little bit wet um, and eating on the beach that's that's all I do there um, so yeah I I do miss my family too and my friends and yeah so family friends the beach and the food that's mostly what I miss somebody asked Japan versus Jamaica <laughs> well they both start with J A and they're both islands so I mean let, let's let's not get me in trouble here so I'm going to choose both okay <laughs> braids or straight hair so I've had my hair straightened before and it's pretty cool it's good for what it is um, I love braids because need to do anything after I do it I put it up and that's it I put it up and I go um, yeah but straight here you have to be more mindful when my hair is straight water doesn't touch my head okay if it's raining I am like every black person can relate when it's raining or when you have your hair done and it's raining or it's going to rain or you go to the beach or somewhere with water you have to take extra precautions <laughs> but when you have braids bruh rain what rain you live your life you're doing everything normal it's like mm, it's okay yeah. you I mean you don't want it to get too wet because then it gets heavy and I think I'd say braids braids because they're low maintenance 
um, what is your most memorable experience since living in Japan? This is a really hard question for me to answer because I have so many like different experiences. Probably, I would say one of my most memorable experiences was the very first time I went to Tatayama and I saw the snow wall. I will try to insert some pictures so that you can see what it's like. Um, it's really beautiful and it's like one of the one one of the biggest attractions in Toyama where I live. Um, the next question is my biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve is being lied to. You say something to me, like tell me, don't make the choice for me. Tell me and let me decide how I will deal with the situation. Or tell me and let me figure out, you know, like what best to do. But if you lie to me and then I find out after, one, I will not trust anything else you say because then I will always, always be thinking, are you serious like are you being honest with me right now and then the next thing for me is that it's like you you didn't trust me enough to handle the situation oh and like a little subcategory of that is telling me a stupid lie bruh if you tell me a stupid lie, I am gonna be heated because it's kind of like you're insulting my intelligence. If you tell me a lie and I'm like, and I can be, I can appreciate the effort that you put into it, I'll be like, mm, and I'll just, I'll let it go, depending on what it is. But if you put effort into the lie, I'll be like, mm, okay, at least, at least, you know, you tried. But don't be telling me some stupid lie that even a kid could see through, like, don't insult me like that please don't don't do it what is my go-to hairstyle i really like crusher braids yo normally when you do individual braids they take a very long time but with crusher braids bruh you just wash your hair and to wash your hair and do the corners that you need to do before the crusher braid it shouldn't take you more than an hour and a half if your hair is like mine some people could be two hours because some people have really thick long hair so it would be a little bit more work and you know when you feel lazy when you're doing it by yourself um, and then the crusher process should not take more than three hours so overall for me personally it never takes me more than four hours but that's usually because I like to watch movies so I like to sit down and I like to watch a movie and I'll be like this my hand not moving, I'm not making any progress, and I'm watching and I'm watching the, the movie or whatever I'm watching. So go to hairstyle crusher break. And somebody asked, Wendy's or Burger King? First of all, Burger King, okay? The only reason I would say Wendy's is because I have yet to find a Burger King in Japan. There is McDonald's and there is Wendy's. Like big chains that I know of. I don't know any burger if anybody knows any burger king in japan please comment down below so i can see if i can take a trip post situation that we have going on right here um in jamaica definitely burger king the next question is what cosmetics and perfumes do i use i use things that smell good so i will go to I will go to the store and I will just walk around and smell everything. And the thing that stands out to me the most, that's the thing that I would actually um, buy. So I don't have a preference. So next question, what Japanese food do I like? Well, first of all, I have so many. I like, I like udon, I like edamame, I like Korean rice. I really do like Korean rice and I love gyoza. My, when it comes down to noodles, my top is udon and then ramen and then soba and then everything else. So yeah, and I'm so fortunate to live beside this really good udon restaurant that I can go to and get some good food. Um, so yay me. 
that's the end of this video thank you for listening all the way through thank you for clicking on if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and you can hit the notification bell so you know when i post more videos so, thank you guys bye, -bye.